Now for the latest installment of our special Vote 2020 Need to Know series. And tonight we're examining politically divided households. We know parents sometimes disagree with children and siblings disagree as well, but perhaps it's most difficult when the conflict involves couples. And our Nidia Hahn is here now with a closer look on that. Hey, Nidia. Hey, guys. Clearly, this issue of a divided household is a reality for many folks. My Facebook page erupted when I asked this on social media. Are you in a relationship in which your spouse or partner is on the opposite side of the political aisle? I'm Gretchen. My husband, Tom, and I can agree on a lot of things, but not when it comes to politics. My wife and I are on opposite sides of the political aisle. It's definitely an interesting time in our house. I do not bring up politics at this time. It's too tense. Things have been rather frustrating. We're almost glad we're social distancing this Thanksgiving. I'm voting for Biden in the election. I am engaged to uh, Caitlin and I'm voting for Trump. Caitlin and Trevor are engaged, set to tie the knot next fall. So what is it like in your household right now and how do you make it work? Nitty, we're listening to a lot of James Carville and Mary Madeline for inspiration. Make no mistake, there has been arguments. Professor Diana Mutt studies political communication. Tensions are running very, very high this presidential election. Uh, do not use the first presidential debate as a model for how to have a political conversation. Do you have any idea what this is doing? It's better for people to take turns, let the other person speak, don't interrupt, just focus on listening, and then let them, you know, have a turn to do the same. Mutz also says don't feel pressure to engage in political discussion at all. And if you do, set ground rules and schedule a time when both of you are in the right frame of mind to talk. It takes a lot of compartmentalization. It takes a lot of compromise. Say, you know what, um, uh, what's agreed to disagree? I would just say to everyone, just be kind to each other best advice of all, isn't it? Also, instead of trying to change someone's mind, make it your goal to just better understand the other person's views. And let's keep the conversation going. If you're in a politically divided household, let me know on social media. I also want to hear from people who are switching parties, voting differently this election than they did in 2016. So much to talk about, Shari. Oh, yeah, this conversation is an interesting one for sure. All right, Nidia, thanks.